Welcome, this is Dr. Partha Nandi, and I want to welcome all of you to this uh, live, and we're talking about a very important topic and really involves all of us, right? Thank you for joining me today, wherever you are. Important topic is breast cancer, right? Breast cancer is a super important topic uh, wherever you are uh, in the United States and in the planet. A couple of very, very sobering statistics. Number one is that one, about one in eight U.S. women, about 12% will develop invasive breast cancer over the course of their lifetime. This is, these are statistics taken, you know, from the U.S. breast cancer statistics. And in 2019, we estimate that there'll be 268,000 cases, 268,000 cases of breast cancer in women, along with 62,930 men. And so men, I'm sorry, 62,000, I apologize, 62,930 new case of non-invasive breast cancer, about 2,600 cases of invasive breast cancer in, in men. So we have 268,000 new cases in women in 2019, along with 62,900 cases of, of non-invasive breast cancer in, in women. In men's 2,670 new cases, and men often don't think about this. A men's lifetime risk of breast cancer is about one in 883. So this really affects all of us. And and today I'm talking about an important subject, which is the breast surgeons group really talking about new guidelines um, for this. It's really important to know that you know we we have to. I think you have to have a different different um, mindset about this cancer really affecting so many folks. So what, what is it that's going on? Um, screening guidelines, you know, the U.S. Preventative uh, Services Task Force talked about the fact that, listen, you know, we should check and do mammogram screening at age 50. And the American Cancer Society recommending starting at age 45. And so this this is a one-size-fits-all approach. And what, what the... The breast surgeons are saying, the American Society of Breast Surgeons that are saying, let's really talk about this, meaning that we talk about this not as one size fits all, but really depending on your risk category. So let's dive into a little bit more. So what we're talking about is if you are a woman, right? If you are a woman and you want to be assessed properly for breast cancer, start at age 25, have a formal breast cancer assessment, age 25. It's pretty radical. To me, it's it's really looking at it very differently. So if you do that, then a woman who's supposed to be at average risk, the group, the group, which is the American Society of Breast Surgeons, they're the folks in the front front line. They're treating breast disease every single day. And they're saying that if you're at average risk, start yearly screenings at age 40. However, if you find out that you're your risk is higher. If a woman's predicted lifetime breast cancer risk is 20% or higher than mammogram screenings, along with, guess what, MRIs too. A lot of my patients would tell me that, you know, they didn't find it unless they did an MRI. So along with MRI screenings, and 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 this is it's really important now, it's changing, changing the paradigm. So if you find out you're over 20%, then do mammograms along with MRI imaging if needed and recommended to start at age 35. Now for women who've got, you know, genetic problems, their inherited risk is higher, annual MRIs starting at age 25 and then followed by an annual mammograms at age 30. So super important. And I'm so glad that the, um, the American Society of Breast Surgeons is taking a stand saying, listen, this is what we need to do to really, uh, get past this you know uh, you know everybody who, who i know knows somebody who's been who's been affected with breast cancer including my family members you know if we followed some of these recommendations that they're they're out there which is start at age 50 or age 45 you know this would not have been picked up and and perhaps we could we could lose the fight and this is the key i'm so glad that the american uh, breast surgeons that they're saying that listen we are going to take a stand, try to reduce the the risk of it, and I applaud them for that. So I really am happy. Um, I, I really am happy that they're doing that because we no longer can sit back and say, you know, this is well, this is horrible, and then and do the same thing, or even cut back and say that we are going to 
do less and perhaps not screen nearly as aggressively. I'm glad that the the people who treat this first line are saying, you know, listen, you know, we got it, we got to do more. And I'll tell you that the breast surgeons, the American Society of Breast Surgeons, also say that routine screening for women ages 40 to 49 has been shown to reduce deaths by 15%. Super important. And it makes a lot of sense, right? If you catch, catch breast cancer early, what happens? Boom, you can actually treat it successfully. It's the same deal. So again, take a look uh, and, 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 and talk to your doctor if you're in the age group. Let's get, let's get going on this. Let's get, let's get to be health heroes and find out what we can do to fight this terrible disease. And if you didn't catch this live from the beginning, you know, please go back to it. We'll talk about all of the, all the, the details and again, you know, our Health Hero community talks about this all the time. Please, I invite you guys to join our Health Hero community. We talk about important topics that affect your health. So again, thank you for joining me today on this on this live. And remember, to make healthy living a part of every day, right? You got to be an advocate. You got to be a health hero. Today, we're talking about breast cancer and how we're going get, to get beyond some of the statistics, right? Get beyond what we're talking about. One in eight women developing invasive breast cancer. 268,000 cases of invasive breast cancer, 62,000 non-invasive for women uh, along with that, and then 2,670 cases of invasive breast cancer in men. So real deal, real problems that we've got to really fix, and I think that we've got the tools to do it. So be an advocate and talk to your doctor and see what's going on. Really appreciate your time today in watching this. And remember, you know, you got to be your own advocate. you got to be your own health hero. Thanks so much. And as always, namaste. We'll talk to you real soon, okay? Thank you.